The day, which is sometimes referred to as All Fool's Day, is celebrated by playing practical jokes and proving celebrities are just like us. Many get in on the gags and tricks. There is little Hollywood likes to do more than entertain themselves. Famous folks like Ellen DeGeneres and George Clooney are known for putting friends and fans in precarious situations. But while many of the pranks are lighthearted, some get laughs, while others fall flat. Check out these recent pranks orchestrated by celebs. Some were home runs, others struck out poorly. Just last year, Heidi Klum faced major backlash over a tasteless and offensive prank that she and her America's Got Talent judges participated in. They pretended that Heidi was pregnant on April Fool's Day. Fellow judge Howie Mandel initially posted a photo to his Instagram. It featured Heidi standing with her shirt up and a baby bump on display. Sofia Vergara leaned down to kiss her stomach. Congratulations, at Heidi Klum co-workers at Sofia Vergara, and I are the first no. Hashtag act, how we captioned the post. However, many fans found the photos offensive and let them know in the comments. Pregnancy jokes aren't really funny anymore. One person slammed, as another echoed, this was done in poor taste. Very tacky to post something like this while there are so many struggling with infertility said a hurt AGT fan. Being pregnant isn't a funny April Fool's joke. So many women suffer from infertility. This is tone deaf, wrote a fan. Good Morning America host Michael Strahan filled in the gaps of his April Fool's Day prank in 2021. The 52-tier-old actually got a head start a few days earlier when he tricked fans into thinking he closed the trademark gap in his teeth. But the former athlete came clean in an Instagram video posted later. The clip began with Michael covering the bottom portion of his face with a face mask. After thanking the dentist that appeared in the original clip and his fans for their kind comments, the GMA admitted he didn't know so many people cared about his signature gap. He continued, I appreciate all of the love for the gap, and you know, I've had it for almost 50 years now, and a lot of people out there would say, you make me feel good about rocking mine and everything else. I know it's a shocker to see it gone, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I appreciate all that love that you show. He then pulled down his mask as he revealed that his gap is still present, stating, I just wanted to say April Fools. Saturday, Night Live funnyman Michael Chi and Colin Jost have a friendship both on and off the weekend update desk, and that's what made last year's prank all the better. Michael had earlier instructed the studio audience not to laugh at any of Colin's quips and they followed the instructions dutifully. Meanwhile, when it was Michael's turn to lampoon the news, the crows went wild, with boisterous laughter and applause. Colin was frozen by how bad he was bombing, but soldiered on, delivering jokes that were dead on arrival. Finally, Michael mercifully revealed the truth, and Colin received a well-earned thunderous applause. I was like, am I not micked? Colin cried out in relief, and then I was like, oh, I just suck. He would also later admit to be sweating profusely after the stunt and being shaken. Kardashian star Kendall Jenner also played a failed pregnancy prank, this one on her own mom. Kendall announced her pregnancy to mom Kris Jenner during a game of Truth or Dare in 2021, before admitting she was pranking her.